All right, so in this lesson, we're going to be talking about hiding and unhiding your image layers. So basically, in Cricut Design Space, you have the option to hide and unhide a layer, and this is done with the little eye icon that you see right here. So when a layer is hidden, it will not appear on your Design Space screen, and it will not even cut on your final project. And uh, I want to say this uh, a lot of times, and I know we covered this in the text uh, lesson, is that the text sometimes will have a predefined shadow and it will automatically be hidden and that's right here so this little eyeball uh, right now has a slash through it that means it's hidden if I click it now we start to see it underneath here and of course we can hide that top layer and we can see that shadow so keep that in mind when you're using shapes or images within design space some come preloaded now if you see it on your design space screen you know your Cricut machine uh, will expect to to do that function, whether that be write, score, or cut. And in this example, I'm just going to show you real briefly. I brought in a card from the Design Space Images, and I added some text right here. Now, this card already came pre-filled with this one year older, and I would like to hide it because I don't want to use it. And I would like to bring this happy birthday. I'd like to convert it to a write file or a right layer anyway, and place it on the card so it will draw happy birthday for me. So, like I said before, if it's visible to us, it's visible to the machine, and I can demonstrate that here by clicking the go, and if we go to the uh, pink layer here, you can see that uh, the one year older is there, uh, it's doing a cut, write, and a score on there, and the happy birthday is simply being cut out. So remember what I want to do. I'd like to not write the one year older. So I'm going to go over to this layer and I'm going to see what is being written on here and I'm going to hide it. So now it's no longer there. And we can even go into the go to see if it is gone. All right, it's gone. Now let's go ahead and uh, make this a write file or write layer anyway. And so I'm going to select it I'm going to click the scissors. I'm going to change it to a right. And of course, you can change this uh, to whatever you wish. I'm going to go ahead and choose that. And I'm going to go ahead and click off of it. And I would like to rotate this. So I'm going to use my snap rotating. And I'm going to hold the shift button down. So that's a good lesson uh, to recap the snap rotate. And I'm going to place it on the card. Now, just placing it on the card is not good enough because if I click the Go button, it does not place it on the card. Okay, it places it on its own little separate uh, writing mat. And it's not even on the card. So let's attach this to the card. So I'm going to select the card. And then I'm going to go click the Attach button. Now let's go ahead and see if this is what we expect. All right, so now I'm ready to go and this thing will cut, write, and score. 